This is how Mike Tyson blew his $600 million extravagant spending habits. Tyson spent $410,000 on a birthday party and $140,000 on two white Bengal tigers. These tigers needed special enclosures, food worth $200,000 a year, and their own trainer, who Tyson paid $125,000 a year. The costly incident occurred during a match in 1997 when Tyson bit off a piece of Evander Holyfield's ear, resulting in a $3 million fine. Tyson employed over 200 people, including chefs and bodyguards. He even paid someone $300,000 just to shout slogans at his news conferences. In one instance, Tyson offered to pay for everyone's drinks at a club all night, prison, and financial downturn. By 1990, Mike Tyson was credited as the highest paid athlete in the world, with an estimated $28.6 million in income this year. Although all of this changed when he was sent to prison only two years later. Between 1992 and his release in 1995, Mike Tyson was unable to earn a single dollar, spending on cars. Over the next two years, Tyson earned another $140 million from five different fights. He believed that having lots of money made him invincible, like he couldn't be hurt. This, combined with his bitterness from being in prison, led him to spend all his money. He started by buying lots of cars. He bought 110 cars, including a Bentley Azure for $320,000, and ordered four more in just a few minutes. He also bought a Ferrari for $300,000, even though he already had one like it. Once, he was pulled over while driving his Rolls Royce without a license. Instead of getting in trouble, he gave the car to the officer. This led to the officer getting fired. Property investments, Tyson bought mansions in Las Vegas, Ohio, and Maryland to store his stuff. But his biggest purchase was a huge house in Connecticut with 21 bedrooms and 35 bathrooms. It had everything, a nightclub, movie theater, mini casino, and even a squash court and gym. Outside, there was a basketball court, swimming pool with a grotto, and its own lake, lake house, and fountain on a big piece of land. Tyson later sold this house to 50 Cent, who regretted it. Growing up such a mansion was super expensive, costing around $700,000 a year. Just to mow the lawn, Tyson had to pay $25,000, and gardening bills added up to $100,000. Divorce Settlements and Personal Expenses Tyson owes his ex-wife Monica Turner almost $9 million from their divorce, and he hasn't paid $19.4 million in taxes to the IRS, Great Britain, and five states, which was an extra-large problem as Tyson was down to his last $1,250 in cash. Tyson, 38, said all of his houses have been sold or seized, and he owns only one car, albeit a white Hummer SUV, newly purchased but apparently not yet paid for, according to bank records Tyson's attorney submitted to the U.S. bankruptcy court. Tyson earned $38 during January, his living expenses during that month were more than $47,000. Financial reckoning and bankruptcy, Mike Tyson was in serious trouble, but he came up with a plan to fix things. He aimed to make $19.5 million from boxing over the next three years to pay off his debts. Unfortunately, he lost his next two fights and ended up retiring bankrupt. Tyson felt like his life was a failure and wanted to escape. Despite his struggles, he found solace in caring for his pigeons, comparing his spending habits to a substance addiction. Losing everything taught him the value of humility. He wrote a book and starred in documentaries and movies to rebuild his life. Despite earning money again, he realized it didn't bring happiness. Instead, he focused on his passions, like his successful podcast Heartboxing, and managed to rebuild his net worth to $10 million.